The two primary ways of drawing attention to text in a document is to either make it bold or make it italic. In this video, I show you three easy ways to use either text treatment in your document. Word provides three easy ways that you can make text bold or italic in your document. One way is to apply it as you are typing. All you need to do is type some text. So all I would do is say, let's say, all I want is to, and then if I want bold at this point, I press a control B, and what I am typing now is in bold. And when I'm done typing what I want to be in bold, I hit control B again, and then I can say the rest of my text in here. So that's the first way that you can apply bold within your document. If I had wanted the text to be italic, then the shortcut key I would have used is control plus I. So it's control plus B for bold or control plus I for italic. The second way to apply bold and italic is to simply type what you want as we do here. And I have nothing in here that is bold or italic. Then I can just go back and select those words that I want to be in bold. And now I just press Control B again and that selected text is made bold. And again, if I wanted to, I could use Control I in here to make it italic. Now this is the approach I most often use because I find it helpful to focus on the words separate of the formatting. And then when I am done editing my text, I can go back and apply the formatting desired. The third method of applying bold and italic is very simple. All you have to do is use asterisks or underscores. This method may sound strange, but it is quite common in the online world. For example, in plain text email messages or texts, it is not uncommon for people to use asterisks to emphasize words. If you type asterisks in this manner in your document, Word makes the text bold. The asterisks need to be right next to the word or group of words with no intervening spaces in order for the conversion to occur properly. So we would just type, all I want is to, and then I do an asterisk, dr draw attention. Notice that nothing's in, in bold yet, but the moment that I type this closing asterisk, it made it all bold. And it made just bold what was between those asterisks. If I had wanted it to be an italic, all I would have to have done is use the underscore. Just like this, we use an underscore character. And when I do the closing underscore, it makes it italic. Now, if you try out this third formatting method using the asterisks and the underscores, and it doesn't work for you, then you need to make a configuration change in Word. Go ahead and click on File, and then click on Options right down here at the bottom. That displays the Word Options dialog box. You want to click on Proofing at the left side, and then you're going to click on Autocorrect Options, this button right here. That displays the Autocorrect dialog box, and you want to make sure that the Auto Format as you type tab is displayed. Now pay attention to this setting right here. If this checkbox is selected, then the asterisks and the underscores should work as I've described them. If you clear the checkbox, then it turns off this capability. When you've made the setting the way that you want, go ahead and click on OK twice, and those dialog boxes are closed, and the formatting feature should now work according to how you set the checkbox. There you have it, three quick ways that you can format your text using bold and italic. I hope that you enjoyed the ideas shared in this video. If you did, click the subscribe button and then click the bell icon so that you are notified when new videos are added to the WordTips channel. 
Thanks for spending a few minutes with me today, learning more about Word.